high students as a part of factors affecting or influencing the rate and extent of corrosion today i am going to explain about uh, the second broad category of uh, the factor affecting or influencing the rate and extent of corrosion that is nature of the environment so in this broad category in this uh, factor we are going to discuss about uh, the four sub factors the one is uh, the temperature the second one is uh, humidity third one is ph and fourth one is effect of oxygen so now let us discuss one by one so these are the four sub factors which comes under the category of uh, the broad factor nature of the environment which affects the which affects or influences the rate and extent of corrosion so first one is uh, temperature so students just uh, try to imagine what would be the relationship between the temperature and rate and extent of corrosion now we are well versed that temperature is directly proportional to chemical reaction if we supply the temperature to any of uh, the chemical reaction the chemical reaction occurs uh, fastly so we know this fact now if the process if any particular process involves uh, those chemical reactions definitely that particular uh, uh, that particular process will be directly proportional to the temperature now this corrosion process involves the chemical reactions now what the corrosion involves the corrosion involves the reaction at anode that is oxidation reaction and the reaction at cathode that is the reduction reaction now what are these two oxidation and reduction reactions which occurs at the anode and cathode respectively these are the chemical reactions now as these are the chemical reactions and as we know that the chemical reaction is directly proportional to the temperature and as the corrosion involves these chemical reactions definitely we can say that uh, temperature is directly proportional to rate and extent of corrosion so temperature is directly proportional to rate and extent of corrosion rate and extent of corrosion it's very simple so the chemical reaction is directly proportional to temperature and this corrosion process or corrosion phenomena involves uh, chemical reactions such as oxidation and the reduction reactions and as this corrosion involves the chemical reaction and as we know that chemical reaction is directly proportional to the temperature so we can say that the temperature is directly proportional to rate and extent of corrosion so the next sub factor which comes under the major category or major factor that is the nature of environment is some humidity so what do you mean by humidity humidity is nothing but the moisture present in the environment moisture present in the environment and we are well versed or we are we know the fact that the wet or electrochemical corrosion occurs only under moist conditions the wet or electrochemical corrosion is only possible only possible when there is a moisture on the surface of the metal right so now what is humidity humidity is nothing but the moisture when humidity is nothing but the moisture and uh, as the wet or electrochemical corrosion is only possible in the presence of moisture definitely we can say that humidity is directly proportional to rate and extent of corrosion so humidity is directly proportional to rate and extent of corrosion already i have discussed students when we are uh, discussing about the corrosion we have the two corrosions no doubt in that the first one is the dry or chemical corrosion and the second one is wet or electrochemical corrosion but among these two the wet or electrochemical corrosion is the major destroyer of the metal so since it is the major destroyer of the metal we have to discuss the corrosion only in terms of wet or electrochemical corrosion and the wet or electrochemical corrosion is only possible when there is a moisture in the environment and the humidity is nothing but the moisture 
and as humidity is nothing but the moisture as uh, the moisture presence is directly proportional to the wet corrosion we can say that uh, the humidity is directly proportional to the rate and extent of corrosion so this is the second sub factor which comes under the category of nature of uh, environment now coming to third sub factor third sub factor so do remember students that uh, under acidic conditions the rate and extent of corrosion is uh, more under acidic conditions the rate and extent of corrosion is more because H plus ions which are a part of acid accelerates the rate and extent of corrosion because H plus ions which are a part of an acid acts as a catalyst during the corrosion. So under acidic conditions the rate and extent of corrosion is more that is already we know that pH equal to 7 neutral pH less than 7 acidic pH greater than 7 basic. So acidic conditions mean pH less than 7. So less than 7 means we can say that uh, when pH less than 7 the rate and extent of corrosion is, is more. So pH less than 7, less, whenever the pH is less the rate and extent of corrosion is more, less, more or more, less, nothing but inversely proportional relationship. So there is a inversely proportional relationship between uh, the pH and uh, rate and extent of so the fourth sub factor which comes under the second major factor that is nature of the environment is oxidant. Now what do you mean by oxidant? The name itself suggests oxidant is the one which oxidizes the other thereby itself undergo reduction. Oxidant is a substance which oxidizes the other thereby itself undergo reduction. Now what is the main oxidant present in the environment? The main oxidant present in the environment is oxygen. Now that oxygen whenever it is in contact with the moisture, moisture then only the metal is undergoing the wet or electrochemical corrosion. So if there is no oxygen present in the environment, only moisture is present then the metal won't undergo the wet or electrochemical corrosion. So wet or electrochemical corrosion which is the major destroyer of the metal is only possible whenever the moisture is in contact with the oxidant. Oxidant is the one which oxidizes the metal. Oxidizes the metal in presence of moisture. Oxidizes the metal means what? Oxidation means what? Corrosion. That is oxidant is the one which corrode the metal. Oxidant is the one which corrodes the metal along with moisture. So, oxidant presence is directly proportional to rate and extent of corrosion. So, it is directly proportional to rate and extent of corrosion. So this is about the second factor which influences or affects the rate and affect the corrosion that is corrosion rate and extent of corrosion. So that is the nature of environment. So in this nature of environment which is the broad factor along with the nature of uh, metal which was discussed in the previous three parts is further categorized into four sub factors. One is temperature, second one is humidity, third one is pH, fourth one is oxidant. Now what is the relationship between the temperature and rate and extent of corrosion? Temperature is directly proportional to rate and extent of corrosion. Next humidity is nothing but moisture and moisture is nothing but directly proportional to rate and extent of corrosion. And third one is when pH is less than 7, less than 7 means under acidic conditions, then the rate and extent of corrosion is more. Accordingly, we can say that pH is inversely proportional to rate and extent of corrosion. And the fourth one is oxidant presence is uh, directly proportional to rate and extent of corrosion because oxidant is the one which oxidizes the metal. Oxidation is nothing but corrosion. 
So since oxidation is nothing but the corrosion, oxidant is the one which is forcing the metal to undergo the oxidation, forcing the metal to undergo the corrosion. So accordingly, oxidant present is directly proportional to weight and density of corrosion. I hope you understood this particular uh, factors influencing the rate and extent of corrosion students. So actually, if you see the YouTube channels, any YouTube channel, you will find only one, only one video related to the factors affecting the rate and extent of corrosion. Only one video and that too, it will be, it will be around 10 or 15 minutes maximum. But I made uh, four parts. I make four parts because this factors affecting or influencing the rate and extent of uh, corrosion not only will give the marks, will give the knowledge under what circumstances the metal do undergo the wet or electrochemical corrosion. This knowledge is very, very important for the engineering students. This knowledge is very, very important for the applied chemists. Without the knowledge, what you will do with the marks? So if you go with the other videos, you will get the marks, no doubt in that. But if you watch my videos, I'm damn sure that you will get the absolute knowledge or complete knowledge about the corrosion, no doubt in stating this. So thanks for watching.